all right guys recently i let out a post on my community section and the question was simple if you have to choose between quality speed and cost which pair would you prefer so first is good quality and high speed but you have very high cost that is option one option two was good quality and low cost but very low speed option three was good speed which means very high speed and low cost but very bad quality as you can see 73 percentage of the people want it good quality and at a lower cost but they can sacrifice the speed here but fear not we have a solution now and that is grog the grog this company is on a mission to set the standard for the generative ai inference speed it uses something known as an lpu which is a language processing unit now having said that in this video we are going to test out grog we're going to see why it is necessary at this moment at this point of time see the leadership here we have jonathan ross who is the ceo and founder very cool personality they have released a white paper uh, which is a key to unleashing the ai potential and you can sign up to get the white paper i have already signed up for you and downloaded the white paper so let's go through the white paper and then we are going to have a look at the grog api as well people love speed and if there is no speed there is no point of time waiting for the solution to arrive a research shows that humans are quite impatient when websites pages are delayed by 500 milliseconds we see that the engagement drops by 20 percent so on the x-axis we have the responsiveness on the y-axis we have impact in billions of dollars these are the softwares where we need a millisecond responsiveness for example emergency response sql generation voice assistance immersive gaming you cannot wait fraud prevention software development these are pretty fast in tens of seconds content creation write me a poem write me a blog post we can't wait for tens of seconds customer service we do can wait for tens of seconds chatbots virtual assistants since we know that this is an ai system responding we can relax a little bit and we can go for tens of seconds in the batches and seconds the code generation doc generation example document analysis text classification so these are the different services given in terms of responsiveness the demand for responsiveness so if you are trying to build an sql generation bot if you're trying to build a voice assistance you need something which is of very high speed so if you want that exact value of time that human wants in a system to respond that would be 200 milliseconds so if you type in something you go to google you type in something and if you don't get the response within one fifth of a second which is 200 milliseconds then the different parts of the brain are activated and agitated we always want lower latency services such as google here they have research on two things the first is the uh, total time to first token and then we have the tokens per second so if you go down we can see this throughput in tokens per second we have any scale at 66 tokens per second bedrock at 21 fireworks 40 although these services claim more than this throughput in their own website okay but this should be taken again with a grain of salt until we check it out ourselves now among all these services for a 70 billion model we can see that this is 185 grog stands on the extreme far right uh, i hope you know th this uh representation which is a box and a whisker plot so this is the median here we have the quartile uh, one on the left side uh, we have the quartile three on the right side so we have this inference here for the time to first token we see that any scale um, provides a much better response than the grog at 0.21 seconds for the time to first token but after the first token is generated then it is uh, showing some delay in case of any skill but in case of grog we see that it is almost similar to any skill uh, in terms of time to first token and uh, the output or tokens per second we have 185 here so that is pretty amazing but 
you can have a read at the white paper uh this is one of the triad uh, on the elements of the triad that has been missing we had uh, the cost we had the quality but what was missing was the speed grok comes ahead and tries to bridge that gap now let's go to the uh for testing that out let's go to the playground here so in the playground uh, we can uh give a long uh, message uh, like and just click on submit let's see the inference speed that is pretty cool the story is exactly okay but tokens per second is 557 tokens and inference is 1395 milliseconds in 1.39 seconds you are able to generate everything here so this is the playground uh, let's look at the api how you can integrate everything with your own system or bot now i already have created a grog one repo for you i'll paste this uh, as a link in the description so let's open up visual studio code uh okay so let's open up the visual studio code and here i'm gonna open up a new folder in the documents gonna create a new folder let's call this grok12 and i am going to click on select the folder next i'm gonna go ahead to code here uh, click copy url to code uh, and uh, open up a terminal here and do the git clone and paste in a link enter so this is cloned here now let's create an environment we move into the folder uh, groq1 so we're inside this folder uh, grog1 let's create an environment uh, conda sorry conda create the dash n uh, name of the environment let's say grog or uh, let's do in capitals grog12 and we're going to use python 3.11 and i'm going to say yes whenever the prompt comes for yes or no so this is going to install everything uh let's look at what we have here we have the requirements here we have uh the readme so you can go to readme and do the necessary steps first step is to clone the repo second step is to rename the example.env to .env okay just rename this to env well this is something what i have designed but you can do it with other implementation as well but in the environment file we need this grog api key uh, whenever when this is installing we can go and get the key so grog api create a new key and you can say my key to three click on submit and copy this go back to visual studio code editor and paste in here Control s to save this close this environment next uh, we can activate this environment now so conda activate grok12 cool so we have uh, activated the environment now we can go to the app.py let me describe in brief the app.py that i've created these are some of the imports or uh, requests uh, working with json and an gradio interface we imported the os we load the system variables for loading the system variables from the env we use this library known as the dot env first we had already installed we have not installed so we need to install python dot python dot env so we need to install this as well let's install uh, pip install and dash r requirements dot sorry dot txt sorry requirements dot txt so this is going to install uh, everything all the libraries that are mentioned here so let's go back to app 2 so we uh, extract this key api key then we do some import here the conversation chain conversation buffer chain and the memory is 10 it remember 10 past conversations then we define a new function on as generate response we initialize the key we put in the grog api key here we are going to use mixtral model here 
conversation uh, llm is the grok uh, grok chat that we have and memory is the memory which is the conversation buffer memory this is a system prompt I'll make it prettier please uh, in a very short and sweet manner please respond in a very respond in a very short and sweet manner your helpful assistance reply for me the following question and then we put the prompt here so if there is prompt then response is conversation and the system prompt which is this and from the response we extract this uh, item which is the response and return that okay so that we can now put it in the gradio interface so interface is gr interface and function is the generate response and input uh, will display this anterior prompt and this is the input we just launch the gradio interface now this should work let's find out so in order to run this uh, just say python main sorry app 2.py so let's launch this launch the gradio interface and then see the speed of the grog so what you can do now is you can just replace your entire sequence if you have something uh, coded in olama you can replace that with grok if you have something which has been coded using openai you can replace that with uh, the grok api here so we go to the local url here and this is the gradio interface uh, write me a long story in like say 2000 words submit and then we can see the speed it's processing three seconds four seconds pretty cool write me an essay on the topic of development of ai in the recent times submit and let's see how much time does it take that was pretty fast so this is how we have tested this out now it's up to you how do you use it uh, i've been seeing videos where people are using grog ai or api uh, by replacing uh, with other projects that they already had for example this one assistant project a voice assistant project is pretty awesome because in case of voice assistance we want very low latency that is one use case other use cases that we have seen you know every use case can be replaced with this uh, grog api so uh, this should be the end of this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel i will come up with more interesting videos in the future have a nice day thank you bye bye watch this next video on one bit llm thank you